Okay, hi everyone. This has been like my fifth time recording this, trying to figure this out. Um, it's very important to follow all of the steps in how to have blurred borders for your videos and vines. Um, especially if you're making it for vines and you need it set as a square. So make sure to follow every step and everything I'm saying to get this right. Because it has taken me an hour and a half to try and figure out how to do this. But it's a very easy and simple tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to be doing it in Sony Vegas like always. Um, open up your Vine. I made this one yesterday, so I'm just going to use that one. Um, delete the audio from the video if you want to, or drag it down so there's a space underneath. But first what we're going to do is we're going to um, change the size. So we're going to click on Properties at the top, and we're going to change this to 640 by 640. So it makes a square. And the right size for Vine. So it should look like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the top track and we're going to click duplicate track. And there should be two tracks underneath. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click track um, motion, which is on the side. And we're going to pull this over, this corner of the square, so it makes the bottom one um, get bigger so it has the effect or whatever. I don't know how to explain it, but it has like the borders on the side. Okay, so we're going to go to video FX and we're going to find Gaussian Blur and then we're going to pull Medium Blur and make sure the bottom one, make sure that you don't have both of them selected because it will make both of the videos blurred out. So make sure you pull it onto the second one and the second one is um, selected. Now this is the most important part of doing this, is rendering it. Make sure that you have your rendering preset set like mine is. Okay, so I have a set that I made, it's called Blurred, but I know you don't have one already so I'm just going to show you how to do it. Click on your regular um, preset or whatever and click on customize template. Now you might want to save this because if you want to use it again it's going to be like easier to remember. Click on video at the bottom, the video tab, and change this to keep original size. And it's going to say pixel aspect ratio and it's going to say HD. But we don't want that because it's going to make it look like, um, it's not going to make it look like a square. It's going to make it look like it's being like washed off the TV or something. It's going to be long ways. It's going to be, it's going to make the borders go on the sides instead of the way you want them to be. So you're going to click on this and you're going to make sure you click on square. Because if you don't click on square, it's not going to render it as a square and it's not going to work. So it should have it right there and if I were you, I would save it as like blurred borders or blurred or whatever. And then you're going to click on render. And you can see that it's rendering it as a square and it will fit on Vine. I watched a video on this and the person didn't say that you had to pull, you had to change it to square. Because if you don't change it to the square, then it's not going to render right. So I hope this video worked for you guys and I hope you like it. And if it didn't work, um, I'm sorry, um, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, suggestion, whatever you want. Um, and thank you for watching. And yeah, um, I'm going to be making some more Sony FX um, videos for Vines. So yeah, you guys can check those out. I have one on how to get a flash effect. So um, thank you for watching again and I hope this works.